The enzyme that we're going to do use in this lab, lab 10, is called catecholase, and it is responsible for the browning effect that you see on fruits like this apple here, as well as potatoes. Okay, and you can see it on these potatoes here. Okay. When in lab, normally what we do is the lab instructor before lab 10 chops up the potato and then we take the chopped up potato and we grind it up in a blender and then we spin it down in a centrifuge, none of which I have here. Um, and then we're left with this kind of pinky brown colored stuff that we call potato juice. And so potato juice is the source of our enzyme catecholase. If you look in your lab manual on page 103, you'll see the chemical reaction, and so that's the chemical reaction that we'll be studying today. So make sure for the quiz, for your final lab practical, you're aware of this chemical reaction. So our reactants for our chemical reaction are catechol, as well as oxygen. Well, catechol is the substrate, so it specifically binds to the enzyme. And so normally we have catechol, which is a toxic substance, so students have to wear their lab coats and their goggles. So you don't have to wear your goggles for this lab, so you're lucky, I guess. Um, the oxygen is present in the atmosphere, so of course we don't need to add it to the test tube. Okay. Um, so then we add to our test tube that has our catechol, the enzyme catecholase. Catechol will bind specifically to catecholase and form the enzyme substrate complex. So catechol bound to catecholase is the enzyme substrate complex, and then we will get our product, our product is benzoquinone. Benzoquinone will turn into melanin, which is a brown pigment. And so that, of course, is the idea of the browning effect. And of course, once your fruits and your vegetables get all weird and brown, you don't want to eat them. And so they're not so palatable. And so even the doggy. <laughs> So the doggy, even the doggy doesn't want to eat the brown potato.